G'day, welcome to the unboxing video for the Monsoon Volcano Flow. I picked this up, uh, it's been on special lately, uh, so I got it around for around about $80 uh, delivered. Uh, but you can get it cheaper if you pick it up, obviously. But I got this uh, unit because uh, we fancy, well, my wife and I fancy being able to watch our Foxtel uh, when we're not at home. So uh, that may be elsewhere in Australia, or otherwise if we're overseas and we want to catch something that's on, or you know we want to watch you know the local, well, the news here in Australia rather than what's going on overseas then uh, would be able to do it using this device so what this does is it plugs into your uh, cable box or you can I believe it might have a coaxial connection I'll just double check that later on but uh, you connect this to your cable box and this streams the signal back out over the internet so let's have a quick look around the box front is pretty simple. Um, there, home requirements, cable, satellite, TV service, etc., etc. TV with components. So, yeah. So that's just basic connectivity. So component or composite, you're going to get the better image with component. But com uh, composite, there you won't have HDMI because of the copy protection the HDCP uh, stuff uh, and you'll need internet connected Wi-Fi or Ethernet router so cable would be better in this situation but Wi-Fi will work uh, and the Volcano plays so it's only rated up to Windows 7 but I'll check if this works on Windows 8 Mac OS 10.5 and above and you know a bunch of other devices there Windows Phone not uh, present though but I'll have a check to see if there is a nap. Uh, nothing on the bottom and just telling you what's in the box, but we'll get a quick look, uh, closer look at that. And yeah, just some stuff on the back there. So yeah, watch live TV anywhere. Control your TV from anywhere. Totally wireless, so it is 802.11n. I think it is only uh, 2.4 gigahertz. And yeah, no monthly fees. So, without further ado, let's crack this open. Okay. Alright, so just to show you, nothing else left in that box. So that's the actual unit, but I'll come back to that. So you can see everything's nicely packaged, and it does appear that everything is recyclable. So there's plastic and uh, paper, but we'll just see what's in uh, this box first. Okay, so this is a power adapter. So that's uh, an Australian power adapter and you can see there it is uh, a universal one 100 to 240 volt 50 to 60 hertz 0 0.6 amps and outputs at 9 volts 2 amps and uh, that's just a uh, connector that goes in the back nothing fantastic uh, just some desiccate there nothing too interesting uh, moving on so this will be the component cable and RJ45 cable as per the sticker. So there you are, that's your um, component cable and RJ45. And this is the composite cable or composite depending where you're from and the IR blaster. So this is how you connect your um, or control your cable box. So yeah, 
So you have these things here, so that these are the infrared blasters. You just um, put the light on in front of the uh, receiver and then uh, plug that in the back of the uh, volcano and that blasts the infrared commands to your cable box. So in the app, when you're using the uh, virtual remote, uh, the commands are output through this or either one of those and yeah just the uh, composite cable so um, video uh, right audio left audio nothing else left in the box there so I'll just um Okay, and um, we'll get to the volcano flow itself. Alright. Um, so there is a start guide, but I'll read that later on. But it'll tell you about the various ports, what they do, how to set it up, etc, etc. So, I won't bore you too much with that. Yeah, I'll get to that later on. Uh, so, here we go. So, this is the front. So, it is very long and thin. It's, um, you can see that it is see through. So, it's not a, um, an opaque object completely like here it is but they're not so much so I'm guessing that's for passive cooling but on the back you can see there is quite a variety of ports so um, that's a reset button right there that's the power HD video in so this is component uh, SD video audio in so that's uh, composite or composite HD video out so again that's the uh, component and composite out. Uh, given that I'm going from my cable box to this and I won't be using this as an intermediate device I'll just be using these ports and uh, the audio ports there. And there's your Ethernet cable for network connectivity if you're going to use it. Um, I'll see if I can use it, I'd prefer to if I can, and then there's the IR blaster port. Um, now if I'm going to try and give you a size comparison, so this is my uh, Google Nexus 7 Android tablet, this is the 2012 version, um, but yeah, you could probably fit, yeah, just about two, so it's about the size of two Nexus 7 tablets. Uh, in landscape orientation side by side and in terms of thickness you could probably say it's a couple of those tablets so if you had four Nexus 7s uh, that would be about the rough dimensions of it um, and just on the front there I think I might have just missed that so you got power and status there um, but other than that that's about it. I think, is this an IR port? Don't know. Anywho, that's the unboxing video for the uh, Volcano Flow. If you've got any questions, let me know. Um, I'm going to have a play with this and um, see what, um, what I can do with it um, in the short term. But yeah, any questions, just drop a comment below. Uh, if you found this video handy, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you fancy uh, the videos that you find on this channel just make sure you also subscribe um, I value uh, anyone that subscribes to the channel and um, yeah if you've got any suggestions on what I might be able to um, get my hands on next I'll uh, see what I can do about that as well but um, as always thanks for watching